Hello everyone. Happy Saturday night. Saturday evening. Night? Night, evening. Whatever you decide. Whatever. Just finishing up getting ready here. Making notes, checking them twice. <laughs> Gonna find out which beers are naughty and nice. Today, oh yeah. Today's the six. Six. Right? Uh, yes. Aunt Cara, Amanda, James is back. Oh, welcome back, Mr. Lane. Oh, James doesn't have a, uh, a dinner party with... <laughs> the murder mystery party? Yeah, jewelry thieves and <laughs> other nonsense. He's not playing live Clue. <laughs> live Clue, I like that. Is that Todd? Todd. Todd and Karen, welcome, welcome. Todd's on because my sister's bully him to <laughs> doing this. Dinner with Patty and Jimmy Lane. Hi, Mr. and Mrs. Lane. Dinner party. That's a murder mystery party. That's a dinner party I would like to go to. Yeah, those are good people right there. <laughs> Lindsay joined all the way from California. Whoa. We are by coastal this evening. It's getting warm. I can feel the heat. <laughs> Welcome, Lindsay, to your first episode. I wish. <laughs> I know. I wish we were in California or Florida. Either way. Somewhere warmer than here. Yeah, we're getting snow, so. Getting a lot of snow, but someone's going to be making a lot of money. Hopefully. Hopefully. Who? Who? You. Who? You. <laughs> oh, it's cracking up at the, um, the thing you posted today, the soup Nazi. Oh, it's true. <laughs> If you follow me on Instagram, you saw it. If you plow snow, no rest for you. It's <laughs> it's the truth. So, but I signed up for it. Hmm. Lindsay, drinking claws in Palm Springs in eighty degree weather sounds fantastic. And actually, Danny's sister Karen is drinking some seltzer lemonades. Bud Light seltzer lemonades. Testing it, testing out some new beach bevies for yeah, the summer. Says it pretty good. Purely research. We'll be testing. We'll we'll. We'll mess around with some seltzers on yeah. here once the weather gets nicer. Yeah, we'll do some seltzer. We'll have a seltzer night. We'll have a cider night. Yeah, cider, because uh, yeah. Down East has a pear cider. I'm itching to try. Oh. Although Pat told me it's not good, but you don't listen to Pat. <laughs> Pat's not here. We don't listen to Pat. He'll be on. <laughs> I'll try I'll try anything. Yeah, if it's cold, we'll try it. We'll, yeah. I mean, well, speaking of ciders, and I feel like we've talked about this on the show already, and I'll talk about it all day, every day. Bar from the Tree in Salem is one of my favorite breweries, and they have nothing but ciders. And they have the most interesting flavor combinations. Yeah. They have one called the Ectoplasm, and it's lime green, and the flavor's like kiwi, jalapeno, green bell pepper, yeah. and any green vegetable or fruit they can find, and they shove it in there, and it's so good. You could go on their Instagram and see like what the color is. Mm -hmm. It's... It's Lime like Cel green. it's like Celtics green. Yeah. Like it's a bold green. And they also make it into a slushy. So you yeah. can get it as a slushy, which is Yeah, they got a phenomenal. couple of slushy machines up there too, so Yeah, they do it oh. with, with different flavors depending on the season. They have pea I remember they had a peach one. Mm, that one was good too. The that watermelon. The watermelon I, I think after a while if you don't wash something out and it had watermelon in it, it stinks. Like it smells Gross, like farts. Well, even when I was back in my bartending days, anytime we had like watermelon beers or anything, someone could have literally just finished it and put down the glass and you pick it up and it has that smell. Yeah. Yeah, it's. But then even anything frozen that's watermelon, it kind of waters down the flavor anyway. Yeah. So I'd rather just do the watermelon, like as is. There used to be a brewery up by. Hey, Jazzy. Um, Welcome. <laughs> up by Blue Hills, and it was called Blue Hills Brewing. Hasn't been around in eight years, but they made a watermelon beer. It was amazing. So hopefully we'll have to do some research and getting those guys back. Pat's here. <laughs> Pat, I was already talking shit about you. He was, witness. And James, the puzzle has not been finished because I haven't no. had time to get to it. The puzzle is still going on. But I actually, this is going to be my project for the next couple days while Danny's out plowing. Yeah. I'm going to have time to focus. Someone's got to finish really this Really hone my craft as a... A puzzler? Yeah. A puzzler. Puzzler, yeah. A Riddler. <laughs> that Riddler. You sleuth. You scoundrel. <laughs> You're a sleuth. But it's been a crazy week. It has uh, been. been a long week. I don't know about you guys. This week dragged. This it is did. probably the longest week. I mean, we're all in the midst of 
nonsense anyways, but this has got to be one of the longest weeks ever. It, it really was. It was. I wake, only worked four days, yeah, and it was wake, really long. You'd wake up in the morning and be like, what day is it? Mm-hmm. And uh, you'd say, oh, it's, it's Friday. Nope, it's still only Thursday. I, I felt like it was Friday on Wednesday. I was just already for the, ready for the week to be over. Yeah, so yeah, it's been a long week, so these beers are going to taste delightful. Very nice. Um, I'm ready. But, yeah, we got some good ones for you guys this week. Mm-hmm. I'm... I'm pumped for these. Danielle is in the house. Ah, uh, D made it. She, she, this she is was, a great one for you to tune, to tune into. Let me tell you. They're all great. They're all great. They're all great, but especially for D. And Danielle, I'm surprised you're not sitting in the in your car while Riley's reading a periodical in the back. <laughs> that was awesome. That was great. I was dying. Um, <laughs> oh, but, hi, Ju. But, yeah. I mean, if you got to go sit out in your car or something while... This is going on. Enjoy your night. Yeah. Um, put the heat on. It's kind of cold out. Lindsay said um, her boyfriend Mitch uh, is pleased with your accent. Oh, yeah. <laughs> also, Mitch, I apologize. I forgot your name when Lindsay was telling me about you, and I thought your name was Hank. So I'm just going to call you Hank from now on. Mitch and I Hank. Hope, I, hope you don't, I hope you don't mind. <laughs> oh, Hank. <laughs> oh, yeah, the accent just... Spews. Spews. Everywhere. Everywhere, everywhere. But, oh, D3. Did you give D3 his four pack? Yes, he got it. I think oh. he's, he's probably already polished it off. Probably. Um, if you see um, if, if, if you see any bears you like tonight, D3, he's going to be like, yeah, I want those bears. <laughs> he's just going to say yes to whatever. <laughs> but we have, uh, I know I'm working on a four pack for my sisters who are always here to support always. us. Always. Some of our biggest fans. Mm-hmm. Um, so I got a full pack coming for you ladies. And yeah, D3's just kind of getting a bunch of beers. So, but I see. I'm sure he's okay with it. I see D3 <laughs> all the time. So just he's. Reaping the benefits. He's just like, give me. Yeah. Money, please. So, yeah, what do you say? We'll get a couple more minutes. Yeah. See who else we can get here. Yeah, we have 11 followers right now. Whoa. I know, double digit numbers. Actually, this is great. We've been doing this since right before Christmas, right after Christmas. Right after. Right we have after. 700 followers on here. We do. We just passed 700 followers. Yes. So we actually were talking about it. Once we hit 1,000, I think we're going to have a little giveaway. Yeah, we'll fix. You guys want beige? No. We'll give you beige. No. No, no, no. That's How not... about the space kitty puzzle? No, I'm determined to do this. Too. I'm a puzzler, sir. <laughs> What's going on your resume now? Puzzler. <laughs> Is that what they're called? Yeah, they're called puzzles. <laughs> um, what was I going to say? Oh, yeah. So we're thinking about doing a little giveaway. No spoilers about what we're actually going to be giving away. <laughs> we don't even know. We don't even so know. So there is no spoiler. Because <laughs> we have no clue. But it's just, we're thinking about it. We're talking about it. It's in the works. Tell your friends. Tell your family. Tune in. It'll be fun. Oh, Hannah joined. Hi, Hannah. Thanks for coming. Hannah's um, one of the nurses I work with. Hannah, nurse that works with Amy. Welcome. She's a craft beer connoisseur. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> they didn't know there was royalty in the cast, simulcast. Of course there is. Nothing but. Merch, yeah, Kara. It's in, in the works. There's Mother, Mother Nature's throwing curveballs at me every week, so can't really nail anything down. But I got... I got some ideas. We got ideas. We got ideas. And we're in, uh, we're surrounded by some good people that can help us out too. So mm-hmm. stay um, tuned. Yeah. Hmm. Just you don't get anything for free, anybody. This <laughs> stuff costs money. <laughs> so maybe we'll have a, a contest, and you can wear it, and whoever can wear it. I don't know. We can't wear it anywhere because we can't do anything. Can't go anywhere. <laughs> Pico's in the house. Hi, Thano. How? Hi, Pico. Oh, it's Pico. Th- Donald's like cooking. Package deal. No. I know Donald's probably um, filming one of his cooking shows. No, and and Pico's got the phone. (laughs) Monitoring it. That would be that'd be a sight. All right, so should we dive in? James, get him out of here. (laughs) Amanda, you still on here? (laughs) Of course she is. Before we get going, I want to make sure Amanda's still on here. I'm pretty sure she is. Yeah, she's she's a busy person roaming around the streets of Rosendale late at night walking the dog. She took a really cool picture though, like going down Birch Street. Yeah, yeah, yeah it was a cool I picture. That. That's why I was like, it's kind of late. Well, that's why she has a dog. 
That dog isn't good. That dog's sweet. That she dog's looks so sweet. I can't wait to meet Maggie. I just want to give her a big hug. All right. We're ready to kick this off. Yes. How's everyone doing this lovely Saturday night? This is our 10th episode. 10th episode. This is a big deal. I mean, I feel underdressed. I feel very comfortable. I'm not going to lie. You know what? For this occasion. Oh, tuxedo t-shirt. That's right, everyone. <laughs> Busting out the fancy clothes. That's right. <laughs> Tenth episode, so I had to get all gussied up for it. Oh, I wish I had known. No, I feel completely underdressed. There's You're doing great. This, there's, this is staying on. This Sorry. is a Sorry surprise. To this is a surprise to Amy, too. She had no idea. I, I didn't. It looks great. Yeah. When did, when did you get this? The other day. Did you? Yeah. Specifically for today? Came in the mail. Perfect. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's why you were carrying that Amazon package. It's all coming together. <laughs> yeah. It's all coming together. <laughs> Hey, maybe we'll do some uh, Craft Bear Campbell's tuxedo t-shirts. I'm going to go for a light blue with a little, what's it? I don't want to say a flower, was it? Boutonniere? Boutonniere. Also, boutonniere. I have no idea how to spell that. Just to let you know. Yeah. Um, all right. Tenth episode. Thank you, everybody, for tuning in on this lovely Saturday a special, night. Especially Cheryl Brown, who finally Cheryl. made it. Mama Cheryl made it. I'm so proud. You did it. Oh, and Daryl. Hi, Dad. <laughs> so, thank you, everyone, for joining in on this beautiful Saturday night. Mother Nature is going to kick our ass the next couple of days. So, mm -hmm. hunker down. We're glad you guys are here with us. We got... Two delicious, well, hopefully, hopefully delicious, delicious beers on tap for you. I picked them up this afternoon. I was on an excursion on the South Shore. Yes, yeah, so we are going to do a South Shore special episode for you guys this evening. Yeah, South Shore has some of the best breweries. They do. They have one of my favorite breweries. Um, I know Amy is also a big fan of it, but mm -hmm. um, the South Shore is doing it. They are. They're doing it right. It's doing it. It's... Uh, Doing it and you got breweries and down there like, um, yeah, you can say Widowmaker's South Shore. Yeah. Widowmaker, um, Stull Wagon in Marshfield, mm -hmm. Untold, Vitamin C, the list goes on and on and on and on. Mm -hmm. So South Shore is on the come up. Yeah. Absolutely. As far as craft beer goes. Hmm, maybe we'll move down there or something. Yeah, maybe. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. One of these days. South Shore, maybe. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Carrying on. Um, which one do you want to go with first? I think we should do that one first. All right. This one, I was pumped for this one. I know. This was a really good, I had, so like he said, he bought the beers today and I had no clue what he picked up until about 40 minutes ago. So I'm really excited about this. And we have, again, we have a fridge full of beers. Full of beers. So thank you to everyone that's <laughs> giving me beers. Um, it's much appreciated, but we can't drink them as fast as we get them. It's no, we can't. And honestly, this is the only time we drink during the week because everything's just oh. Well, someone it's the only time I drink during the someone week. Someone here has a little wine during the week. Yeah, body of Christ. <laughs> Amen. So we're gonna start with the first one. It's called Scorpion Zoom Bowl. Everyone's had a Scorpion Bowl. If you haven't, yes. hit the bricks because you're missing out. I think we have a. Yeah, we, we have, have an actual scorpion bowl. We have a scorpion bowl. Someone may have stolen that one drunken evening in Providence when they were about 22. Not pointing any fingers, but it was probably me. <laughs> Siri just picked up my uh, conversation there and it said hit the bricks. But, um, anyway. yeah, the first one is called Scorpion Zoom Bowl. It's a sour IPA. That's rare. It is rare. Because you usually get, like, just a regular sour, which I love. Uh, this is a sour IPA. So, I mean, it, it's a scorpion bowl. Who doesn't like scorpion bowls? And I love scorpion bowls. And as we all know, I'm not the biggest fan of sours. But I'm here to try anything. So, it's pretty clever. It kind of gives you the, uh, again, as always, we always put up the description, the can, and the um, what it looks like on our Instagram mm -hmm. after the show. Yes. But it's, it's pretty cool. It looks like a desktop. It, has, uh, it looks like you're in a Zoom meeting. Yeah. It's pretty clever. So Vitamin I mean, C does a good job with their can art. Vitamin C in Weymouth, Mass. My favorite brewery. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go out and say it. it's my favorite brewery. You can get an IPA in there. You can get their worst IPA. And it's better than any other IPA you've ever tasted. Couldn't agree more. And I, I put that on everything. Ooh. Swear to God. <laughs> Both vitamin vitamin C is the best. They're the best brewery in massachusetts sorry treehouse i love you guys but 
You guys just sound accessible, easily accessible as vitamin C is for us. That's true. That's very true. But, but yeah. they are opening one down the Cape. Are they? A treehouse. Oh, I had no idea. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, well, well. Ooh. Sounds like we're going to be hitting some excursions. Plot thickens. Well, well, well. But yeah, and... we're going to dive into this. It's, um, I mean, as far as flavors. Oh, yeah. Did it talk about, like, is it just scorpion bowl flavor and, like, that's it. Let's do it. You know what? It's got nice mango on the cover. I think that's a... Oh. Oh, boy. Special appearance. Party's over. By the beige. Well, we're just going to crack the beer now anyway. Yeah. <laughs> so, She's as, actually really here for the mug water. Yes. She awesome. loves the mug water. As usual, here on the Craft Beer Campbells, we always share a beer. Yes. Hashtag share a beer. Tag us in it. Um, if you're sharing a beer with your um, <laughs> friends, you just try to knock the other beer over. <laughs> share a beer. Hashtag share a beer with your friends, neighbors, your lovers. Lava. And, uh, Not kitties. <laughs> I feel, feel like we should say that. Oh, my. Are you going to go with the big one? Yeah. I think... Beige. Blocking the view. Yeah. I'm going to move her in a second. No, that's fine. She can stay there. James, I love that... Oh, wow. That's a strong scent. Yes. Uh, James, I love that you spell Beige's name differently every time you say it. <laughs> Hi, Olivia. Hi, Olivia. We miss you. Okay, so here's the Scorpion Zoom Bowl. It's almost got like a... Uh, it's orange with like a hint of pink. Yeah, it's it's kind of hard to tell. It's almost it like if you get the... Um, what is it? Like a dull pineapple juice that's loaded with sugar at the grocery store. I was just going to say... That's kind of what I'm getting from this. And that's what it's kind of looking like. I was going to say, it looks like... I mean, you don't really drink mimosas. But if you get like the orange peach mango juice and have it as a mimosa... Yeah, that's it. That's what this looks like. Nice. I'm going to stick with that. So we're diving in. We got... Scorpion Zoom Bowl from Vitamin C Brewing in Weymouth, Mass. The best brewery in Massachusetts, my opinion, not yours. Mm -hmm. But if you have a beer, it'll easily change. Probably. Ready? Cheers. And it's 7%. Wow. Ooh, I like that. This is really good. Holy <laughs> shit. Again... Not really a sour fan. This is delightful. It does look like Puree <laughs> James, but this is awesome. Wow. All right. I need, I need to have I'm kind of... Sp I don't know what to say. This is delicious. It's very juicy. Mm-hmm. And, like, my mouth is really watering yeah. in like a good way. I got to find out what flavors are in this thing because they're hitting us. I would almost say it tastes a little bit more like a Mai Tai than it does a yes, Scorpion Yes, it does bowl. taste like a Mai Tai. It does. Wow. As opposed to a scorpion bowl, which, not a bad thing. Right. Still very delicious. No, it's a tropical drink. Very tropical. This is the bee's knees right here. This is very good. Again, vitamin C. You guys never disappoint. Doing it right. Doing it right. Vitamin C. If you ever have the chance to go to vitamin C, in, um, on the Craft Bear Campbell's Instagram, I posted a picture that I was there, too. And it's, I mean. I'm it's, surprised you didn't wear that shirt. It's dirty. I wear it to the gym. Oh, uh, that's true. That's true. I had to get all gussied up here. It's, I know. My my fault. It's a big party here. Karen, but, I definitely think you would like this. Yes, you guys would like this a lot. So Actually, that, Melanie might even like this a little bit. It'll probably go in your four-pack. I don't... Yeah, it'll probably go in your four-pack when I see you guys next. Oh, absolutely. You guys are going to love this. Mm -hmm. um, the thing with vitamin C is that they're open Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Um, I believe like 12 to 8. Follow them on Instagram. Follow them on Facebook. They're actually more active on Facebook and Twitter than they are on Instagram. Oh, that's probably why I don't see much. Every Thursday, Friday, Saturday, after 8 o'clock, <laughs> they post what beers they're going to be selling. Every week, it's something different. So they keep you guessing, and it's just awesome beer after awesome beer. You could probably go there on a Saturday, and they have six new beers, or maybe a couple that are like, they're just bringing back. Yeah. But vitamin C is the best. I, could, I couldn't I could agree more. I love it there. Do yeah. they sell um, cans like outside of the brewery? Nope. And that's why I like them even better. So, Danielle, you're going to have to go to the brewery in Weymouth. Let us know when you want to yeah. go. We can't sit there and hang out, but I'd love to see you. Give a high five or and if keep we, it moving. Or if we know <laughs> we're going to be down in your neck of the woods, we can we'll, pick make, some up. we'll pick some up. Um, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. You, would, you would love this, Danielle. Yeah, when's the next time we're going to be down that area? I have no idea. Yeah, we'll have to. <laughs> <laughs> no, 
No, we got to get Danielle Biz. Though. We, we do have, have to, to get, get her some of these Biz. Beers. She's yeah, here every Saturday. She's a loyal, loyal fan. So we have to get Danielle. We'll we'll communicate. We will communicate. We'll meet um, you in your driveway. Kara, that is the correct spelling. And Cheryl, it's actually not thick at all. No, like James had said, it does look like one of those puree juices, but it's yes, not. Kara. It's not at all. Um, and Don't, it's really not that sour. No, this is awesome. It's more juicy than it is sour. This is amazing. It's excellent. I'm giving it five. Going there. Five I'm out going of five? Five out of five. This is the first five that has been five given. Five out of five. Beer vitamin C could... Confetti, pa- confetti, confetti. <laughs> vitamin C could package a bag of rocks, and I'm going to love it. That's that's true. They are the best. It's the best IPAs I've ever tasted any sour, stout, anything vitamin C has is the best. Mm-hmm. I, I love you guys. I agree. I do agree. But I will say, again, for someone that's not a sour fan, this is a 4.1. Hey, take that's it. A, that's a strong, strong vote or review, I should say. Yes. Rating, whatever you want to call it. And I'm we have um, two more beers in the fridge from vitamin C that we also have to Can't try. Can't wait. Can't wait. We have, uh, I think it's, I think it was a triple IPA and a double IPA. Probably, I don't yeah. remember. So, um, James, I could absolutely drink more than one of these in a second. Oh setting. God, yeah. Like we could probably easily split the four pack. Got one coming in your an way. An hour or two, just between the two of us. Oh God, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is definitely going to go down easy. I would absolutely buy this again. Again, what? Well, go on their Instagram, go on their Facebook, mm-hmm. Vitamin C. The can art is... It's awesome. Unreal. Yeah, they, they really do such a good job. They do awesome job. And today it was like, they had a, one of the bears we got was called um, Second Anniversary. And the apparel they come out with, we got an awesome glass. Mm-hmm. Um, they had t-shirts. They make the um, the neck gaiters, yeah, hats, hats, koozies. Hats, koozies. Everything. Tanks. There's a guy that works there that looks like uh, Tommaso Ciampa. He's a WWE wrestler. He actually does really he does. like him. I he does. Lie. He's spot on. I walked in and I was like... Danny was ready to ask him for his autograph. I got it. so excited. <laughs> but vitamin C, Weymouth Mass, make the trip out there. You can't sit in there, but they're doing it pretty good now with the can service. You go in there, they have a menu out. Mm-hmm. Check it out before you go in there. You go into the actual brewery now. Really? Or into the um the bear, bear the tap room the tap room, mm-hmm. and because it's cold out, so they don't want you hanging out. But that's kind of them. Vitamin C, love you. Keep doing what you're doing. Absolutely. Don't change a bit. <laughs> love you guys. I'll see you guys soon. Yes, keep putting out the delicious beers. Next up. All right. Next up, we are doing from Untold Brewing and Situate. Uh, we're gonna do Sweet Treat. It's a chocolate stout. Skituate. Skituate. It's a chocolate stout. Here's the can. I don't know if you guys can really see it with my tiny arms, but it is actually brewed with Taza chocolate. Yeah. And that chocolate factory is right in Somerville. That's right. And I have done a tour of that factory before. She didn't get a t-shirt. I did not get a t-shirt. Or a actually, I didn't. I didn't. Um, I actually went on that date. This is going back Who? seven Someone took you on a date to now? the chocolate factory? Um, well, I bought tickets on Groupon. <laughs> Chocolate factory dates. This is intriguing to me. It was, um, the date wasn't great. The, I don't even remember the guy's name. Just giving all you single folks some ideas <laughs> about, where should I go on a date? Where should I go on a date? Chocolate, Chocolate factory. factory. <laughs> if a guy comes out and he's got a top hat and little people running around him, go in. It's going to be awesome. It's going to be delicious. Don't go away. Like, it's good. There's an adventure. <laughs> Ooh, this looks nice. Um, it was not Willy Wonka. Also, his name was not Bill or Will or William. I I couldn't even tell you what the name was. This smells very Don't good. Don't tell you. So the Taza Chocolate in Somerville, it's, um, again, I know we've talked about it before. Yeah. And I can kind of smell it already. So it's not like Hershey's Chocolate that it's like syrupy and sugary and whatever. It's that grainy organic chocolate and it's really good they come they get served in these like discs you can buy them and they had like a spicy one they had a coffee flavored one and is it still there i'm pretty i'm pretty sure it's check groupon there. tell them we sent you i don't I, <laughs> groupon's not really a thing anymore yeah it is no but like i used to be able to get supplements on there and they don't even have like supplements no? anyways oh I've, um, I've gotten a bunch of stuff on there but anyway i the excursion itself was fun the company less than fun I'd be willing to do it again. 
Put it on the list. Yeah, see, James wants to do it. Um, James and I will go. We'll go. Yeah, it's fine. Danny can stay. Yeah. Um, so, <laughs> what is how how they label this? How they market it? They said this tastes tastes like a Malamar. I know my sisters are, are like drooling right now. Um, Malamar is this. I don't know. My mother used to love Malamars, mm. and they come in this. They come in like a paper packaging. It's yellow packaging. Google it. But what my mother used to do is she used to take the packaging off and it was just a plain white box. But she used to stash it places. So we would just, as kids, we were like, oh, it's just a white box. We don't know what it was. <laughs> so we never ate her Malamaz. That was her secret. Smart of, like, woman. Keep the Malamaz. So what it is, is it's marshmallow, but it's covered in hard chocolate. So when you bite into it, it gives you like a snap. Oh. Oh, they're the bomb. So the guy told me at the brewery, and by the way, every brewery I went to today, I walked out of there with a smile on my face. Everyone was just so happy, so positive, excited about the beer, and that's what we like. The guy told me he's like, he's like, you ever have a Malamar? I'm like, oh god, yeah, I've had a Malamar. <laughs> Funny you ask. God, I got I got stories about Malamars. <laughs> so yeah, this that's how they market it. Um, not to mention any, any other names, but we were told. A beer we had a couple weeks ago tasted a certain way, and we were we were disappointed. Less than impressed. Yes. yes. So I'm hoping this smells fantastic. It does smell really good. I've never had a Malamar, so I don't know what it tastes like. So I think I'm going to be pleased regardless. So yeah, it's got nice color to it. Mm -hmm. Dark color. Um, yeah, you want to it does have. A, it has like a marshmallowy. They. Like I'm. I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm excited. Really? Ready? Share Cheers. a beer, everyone. Share a beer. Wow, that's a Malama. Is that what it tastes that like? That is a Malama right It has right a there. little bit of a hint of like an amaretto flavor to it. I don't know what that is, but, but like, it's... Like almondy. Yeah. Yeah. This is very it's good. good. This, is, this is a Malama right here. I like it. I don't know what a Malama is, but it I like it. It just doesn't have the <laughs> snap when you bite into it. Mmm. Yeah, the pancake beer. Yes, Karen, yeah, that is what we were talking beer. about. This is delicious. Mm -hmm. This is a nice, light... Yeah. Easy drinking stout, phenomenal flavor. It almost tastes a little bit like Di Sirono. It's not you, as not as sweet. You're getting the chocolate and you're getting the marshmallow, and it's not overpowering. Right, and then a hint of the amaretto. I like this. This is very good. This is very nice. Um, I know Cheryl, you might like this because it doesn't taste like beer. It tastes like dessert. Yeah, it's dessert in a can. Yeah, pretty much. Cheryl, you know what a Malamar is. We'll have to, uh, I'll, I'll have to put it up on the Instagram. I'm so intrigued. Oh, they're fantastic. Can you, still, can you still get them? Well, that's the thing. I remember for a while, we couldn't find any. Hmm. So I think my, my mother had to call up her connections in Charlestown, and they had to <laughs> go to the grocery stores there and uh, figure out a way to get that stuff. So mm -hmm. um, this is delicious. This is very good. This tastes just like a Malamar. If you've never had a Malamar, it's because your parents fed you vegetables and... Um, well, I mean, I eat my vegetables, but we also no, have a we, lot of sweets. We had a lot of sweets in my house. Hi, Jessica. I'm um, so pumped that you're joining. I'm like, well, how is that happening? Whoa. Oh, magic. <laughs> Didn't think it was going to be a magic show involved here tonight, did you? Woo. <laughs> Optical illusions. Over. Puzzles done. <laughs> um, this is delicious right here. Again. That's very good. Untold Brewing. Well done. Untold Brewing in Situate, Mass. Uh, super easy to get to. Mm -hmm. It's a building. It looked like they built it. We've been there once. Mm -hmm. We've been um, like right after they had opened. Yeah. It looked like it, it was built ground up. So a lot of these breweries you see in like old mills or old. Um, this is nice. Old buildings and stuff. This looks like it was built from the ground up. Um, of course, I, I couldn't go in this time. So. Place an order online, super easy. Call when you get there. They had um spaces like one, two, three, four, but they had celebrities on it. So I pulled into spot oh, three. That's right. Had a picture of uh, Oprah Winfrey. Oh. So I I saw Dolly Parton. I should have pulled in Dolly's spot. Um, Missed opportunity. We could always go back. We can't always but go back. But again, the people are untold were great. Um, the gentleman that came out the. Young lady I talked to on the phone was great. Who is she? Everybody was just, I don't know, everyone was excited for beer today. And as That's we what I are like, too. Though. When people are so excited about their product, that makes me excited A, to yeah. try it, B, to support them. Yes. You know, it's one thing if they're just sitting there and like, here you go, like, have a good night, whatever. But when they're genuinely excited and passionate about it, 
man, like, even if the beer isn't that great, I'll keep coming back. Because you're excited about it. Like, we went, <laughs> two two years ago, we went to Denver, and we went to a brewery. Mm-hmm. Um, Riot? No. Um, that was one that we liked. It was one we sat outside, but we basically walked in, and it looked like we were, like, interfering with them. Like, they were like, oh, there's people here, like... Oh, yeah. Which one was it? We went to so many, and it was two years ago. <laughs> there was, like, Colorado Brewing Company or something like that. Cool spot, but it was, like... Like, what sorry do you, to bother what you with do you want? Yeah, it was during the day. We were on vacation. You're right. Like, ready to if, crush some beers. If you weren't ready for customers, then close your doors. <laughs> but... Um, yeah, that always that always sticks out in my mind where I'm like, you guys excited about your beer? Yeah. So. It, may, it makes a difference. Today, like last week too, the guy at Distraction was fantastic. Mm-hmm. And Yeah, we've been having good luck with customer if, service. If people are excited about beers. We're going to be excited to try it. I walked out of there and had a mask on, but I had a smile from ear to ear because everyone was just pumped about beer. Mm-hmm. Um, so... So this is actually another beer that you could throw a scoop of vanilla ice cream in, Mm -hmm. and it would be a delicious treat. Yeah, sweet treat. You're a sweet treat. Ooh, hello, sir. Um, Yeah, right there, Untold Brewing. Got a cool brewery. They actually had sweatshirts before Christmas uh, with the Untold logo, and on the back it says, support your local brewery, which I kind of fanned on, and I wish I had gotten a sweatshirt. Hopefully, Untold, if you're watching this, Make a couple more. I'll buy some. Yeah. Because they they were awesome. Absolutely. So I'm going to jump into ratings. I'm going to give this a 4.4. This Um, is a really good stout. I'm really enjoying this flavor. It's different. Because we've had so many, well, myself in general, I've had a lot of chocolate stouts because it's such a common flavor that you want to put with a stout. But this just has a little something different, like that marshmallow, that little bit of amaretto. It's so different from any other chocolate stout I've had. Right, and they're hitting it. I really like this. The chocolate comes out and the marshmallow comes out. Mm -hmm. And And then it finishes with that that amaretto sweetness, that like DiSerrano sweetness. And just putting it up to your nose, it smells smells like a Malamar. So well done on told. Um, (laughs) I'm going to give it, I'll give it a 4.5. 4.5? Yeah, for a stout, it's, it's delicious. It's crushed... Honestly, we could. This, we is, always, this is another crushable beer. We always share our beers. Mm-hmm. Like, I could share this with Amy. I could share it with a friend, whatever. But, um, I feel this like is, you could put this down yourself, though. Oh, easily. Can of easily, yeah. Easily. I could definitely put down one, maybe two of these. Because it is, it is on the sweeter side. Not sickeningly so. No. But after one, I might be in the mood for something else. Right. Just less sweet you know but it's fantastic very crushable goes down easy very yeah. delicious 100 percent would buy this again highly recommend it oh michaela you joined welcome girlfriend this is another craft beer connoisseur ah right? perfect welcome with. welcome to the show we have 15 people on here we have some very cultured nurses oh craft beer cultured nurses that work at dana farber i mean don't tell too many people no nah, i won't <laughs> secret safe with me but this is a great beer an untold Excellent job. Highly recommend. Um, I almost grabbed, uh, I almost kept it just one brewery at a time, but I can't not go down to the South Shore and drive by vitamin C and not get beers. I know. It would be blasphemy. Yeah, that's vitamin C. Going back to vitamin C, it's... <laughs> I know. We really love it, though. <laughs> their beer, it's the best beer they have. They're doing everything right with IPAs. Mm-hmm. Everything. They're doing everything right. Absolutely. Um, but... Again, back to Untold. The South Shore is kicking butt. They are. South Shore, again, we might move there someday. Pipeworks Cookies and Cream is a great brew. Ooh. Well, that sounds fantastic. Thank you for that recommendation. Yeah, I'll have to. I'll I have might to have to dive Pipeworks. into that. I've had Pipeworks before. Really? I think I've had it when we were in um, D.C., when we stopped and got that four-pack. Yes. That might have been Pipeworks. Oh. Maybe. Interesting. But... These, I think Untold is sold in stores. I think you can get these at uh, package mm. stores. Uh, vitamin C, you cannot. No, you have to go to the brewery for that. Um, I could be totally wrong, too. So, But I, I c- could have sworn I saw Untold in some like local stores. Mm. You've been um, doing more of the beer shopping than I have, so I can't, I can't really say anything about that. I yeah. just go to Little Packy on the corner and call it good. And get, get her wine. <laughs> Get me wine. They have Jack's Abbey over there, so they do okay. Bog Iron is very good. Bog Iron is very and good. And their tap room is bigger. They made it bigger, and they got outdoor igloos now. And I want I want to say they have a 
my coworker told me he's from Norton. He said that they uh, they they have a chef on hand now, so the the food Whoa. is the food is excellent. I've heard. Sounds like we have to go. Yeah, bog iron. <laughs> um, but yeah, four point five. You give it a four point four. Yeah. This excellent beers tonight. These are really great beers. Um, We've been knocking it out of the park the last few weekends. Local beers support your local breweries, Absolutely. even if, it, if there's a, not a brewery down the street from your house like we are. We mm. have, you know, go to the next town over. Yeah. Go support it. Just type in breweries near me. Um, you'd be pleasant, pleasantly surprised. That's what we used to do. Anytime we'd be in like a random part of the state yeah. or another like neighboring state, we would just punch in like breweries near me. And that's how we would go and try new things. Yep. It's a great way to see more of the state, but also just to see what else is out there and right. just get a little adventurous. We're all about it. And I mean, obviously drink, drive, don't drink and drive. Don't you know. drink and drive. But that's why you share a beer. You can get flights. I think we actually shared a flight at Untold when we went. We played some we Connect Four. We played some excellent Connect Four. I actually. stink at Connect Four. Amy's excellent at Connect Four. I'm pretty Four. good. What can I say? Um, <laughs> but yeah, two excellent beers tonight. This was great. I honestly want to do another episode because with those other two Let's um, do it. vitamin C beers. Let's do it. I'm just... Because if we don't... They can't sit in the refrigerator till next Saturday. I know. I think we have to do something maybe Thursday. Well, we can do a real quick review like we did last week. Uh, I, I, I think you want to do like a tried and true, like dive on in? Vit they I'm, deserve it. They I'm deserve waving it. the vitamin C flag. I know. I'm waving that flag. I want to give them <laughs> as much love as possible because mm -hmm. um, the beers are just top notch. They They're really are. Awesome. And everyone working there, everyone there today was excellent. And uh, they're doing a great job. But... We'll wrap this up. We'll land the plane. I've kind of ranted past the 6.30 mark. That's okay. This was, this was a great episode. But thank you so much, everyone, for joining in, especially yes. the first timers. Yes, welcome. Welcome, welcome. Make sure you come back, tell your friends, yes, tell please. your family. So, and again, since we had a few first timers for this episode, we share beers here. So we're starting our own little hashtag, share a beer. That way you can try as much as you can, not get inebriated. Right. And make some friends along the way. And don't forget to support your local brewery. And even if you don't, if you have kind of questionable on a beer and you, that's why you share a beer. Mm -hmm. You say, hey, I'll, I'll put this, you know, it could be a stanky beer. I'm like, oh, I'll make my friends drink it. Yeah. But you share it, you don't like it. It's one of those things like, oh, this smells horrible. Right. Smell this. Yeah. Yeah, just like that. <laughs> but again, thank you guys. Thank you for everything. Um, let's get these followers up. We got 700 right now. Yes, help us um, get to, to 1,000 so you guys can try to win something. Yeah, so toss us up on your Instagram. We just keep things rolling here. Honestly, we I always I say it every week. We should put this up on Facebook because I know we have a lot of family and friends that don't have Instagram. That is very true. And um, it would just be a lot going on for us with you know, answering questions and whatever. Oh, yeah. Too many places to look. And right. we just want to focus on the people that are here. Right. So we'll, we'll be going to Facebook, too, just to kind of cast a bigger net. Yeah. Um, but we'll as always, there. thank you very much, guys. We love everybody. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for your support. Mm -hmm. And, yeah, always share a beer. Always share a beer. Life's too short to drink mediocre beer. I said that. He did say that. Love you guys. Thank you so much. It's going on a shirt. We'll see you next time. Um, copyright. <laughs> Bye, guys. Bye.